All right, in this video, we're gonna go over how to do a couple more different types of detailed questions in Qualtrics. The first is gonna be a text entry question. You can use text entry questions to just have respondents simply type out their answer rather than giving them choices, or you can ask text entry if you want respondents to provide more detailed answers to certain questions. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new question and select text entry. And in this survey, we're gonna ask respondents how many times a week do you eat out or get food to go from a restaurant? And then in the survey, respondents will just type in their answers here in this text box. And the next type of question that we're gonna go over is a slider or a sliding scale question. We're gonna use a sliding scale to ask participants to indicate to us how much money they would be willing to spend on lunch. You can also ask about how much a participant likes something, whether they agree or disagree on a topic, their level of satisfaction, and different things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new question and select slider. And for this particular question, we're only gonna have one choice, even though it gave us three. So we're just gonna go ahead and reduce our choices to one. And we're gonna ask participants, how much money are you willing to spend on lunch? and we're just gonna put our choice amount in US dollars. And Qualtrics gave us some automatic choices. We're just gonna go ahead and delete those since we want participants to just focus on the scale. And for the scale, you can change the minimum value and the maximum value right here, min value and max value. The minimum value is generally set to zero, but we're gonna change our max value to be 20. You can either use the minus and plus buttons to change the max value, or you can change it by just clicking on the number and typing in what you want your maximum value to be. The grid lines that you see here are used to indicate how much space you want between the values, and that really just depends on how specific you wanna be in the choices that you give. So you give a good amount of choices so participants can see where the slider goes on the scale. And if you wanna change the number of grid lines, you just go up here, you can add grid lines or you can also take away grid lines, just depending on how specific you wanna be in the survey. We're gonna leave our grid lines at 10. So in the survey, what participants are gonna do is just move the sliding scale to indicate how much they're willing to spend on lunch. And you'll see that as I'm moving the scale, this number right here is changing to let respondents know exactly what number they're on. So if they land right here, they'll see that it's a 13, which means they're willing to spend $13 on lunch. And the last type of question that we're gonna go over in Qualtrics is called a constant sum question. A constant sum question can be used, let's say if you wanna ask participants how many hours in a day do they spend dif doing different activities? Whether it's sleeping, exercising, working, things like that, you can ask participants to break down how they allocate their time in a day with the constant sum being 24 hours. This way we can see that you know everyone's sum in the survey is gonna be 24 hours and you're just gonna see and look at how many hours a day different people spend doing different activities. In this survey, we're gonna ask participants if they were given a $100 budget on a nice dinner, how much they're gonna to allocate towards certain portions of the meal, appetizers, drinks, entrees, desserts, and things like that. So we know that the constant sum among all of our respondents is gonna be 100. What we'll look at in the data is how much different people would allocate towards certain, certain portions of the meal. So we're gonna create a new question and click on constant sum. And we're just gonna type the question. We just want participants to indicate again how much they would allocate. We'll do drinks, appetizers, entrees, and desserts. And what we want to ask participants to do is please make sure your total equals $100. This is very important in a constant sum question because obviously we want all the sums from all the respondents to be 100. One way that you can validate this is go to the validation type and you can select must total. And since Qualtrics picked up that we asked about 100 in our survey, their choice is must total 100. The survey will not allow a respondent to move on until they have until it's been checked that all of their choices equal 100. 
So you see it again, we got some automated choices. We're just gonna go ahead and change those. We'll do drinks, appetizers, entrees, and desserts. And then we'll just get rid of this last choice here since we're not gonna need it. And then in the survey, participants would just type in these text box how much of the $100 they would allocate towards each of these four portions, and their total is always going to equal 100. So that's all the types of questions that we're going to go over in Qualtrics. And our final Qualtrics video is going to cover how to make certain changes to questions in the survey how, and how to recode variables.